up guys, Matt Mills here for Antihero Magazine here at the last day of Bloodstock Festival. I'm wet, I'm muddy, I'm cold, I'm tired, but that doesn't matter because I'm here with Matt Bashan from Act of Defiance and from Shadows Fall as well. Yes sir. Good to see you man, how's it going? It's going great, a little, little muddy like you said. Yes muddy absolutely, and wet, but yeah. We're all right. we, we, had, we had Gojira here last night so I think everyone's, uh, everyone's exhausted <laughs> after that. Yeah probably. But they're going to have to uh, wake up again quickly because you're playing the Sophie Lancaster stage a little later on tonight. Yes. How are you feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. This is the last day of, uh, of our European tour here, so um, mm. we're hoping to go out with a bang, you know? Mm. And this is your first time in the UK, is that right? It is. Yeah, you played your first show, was it last week in London? It was a couple weeks back, yeah. A couple weeks back, okay. How'd it go? How was your first time here yep. in England? It was great. Uh, everyone's been really, really responsive to, to the material and, and uh, can't complain. And it's mm. been really, really good. Mm. And obviously you're still touring to promote your second album, Old yes. Scars, New Wounds. Came out on Metal Blade late last year. Yep. How are people liking the record? Is it is it going down well? It is. It is. We're getting a lot of great feedback because it's uh, quite a bit different from the first album. Whereas that was mostly Chris and Sean pretty much writing everything. You know, they just did it really quickly and to get it out. And uh, this time around, we all contributed a bunch of songs mm. to it. So it was much more of a of a, a team effort this time around than it was the first time around. Mm. And obviously, Act of, Devi uh, Act of Defiance is uh, kind of a super group, really. Obviously, you're from Shadows Fall. Mm -hmm. Chris and Sean are ex Megadeth. Uh, Henry Derrick, your front man, is from Scar the Martyr. So does this band feel like, I guess, a natural evolution to the projects that you were involved in before? Uh, I wouldn't call it an evolution so much, okay. but it's uh, we definitely don't like to call it a super group because okay. it's not that. When you when you hear super group, usually that means you get together, you put out one album, and it's just like a project. But this is this is a band. This is yeah. the real deal. We're this is full we're, time. we're going full on, exactly yeah. we're going full on with it. So it's it's not really that. Just because we happen to be in some other bands previously doesn't doesn't really make it that. It's more of a it's it's a real project. It's real yeah. real deal thing. And obviously in Shadows Fall, obviously Shadows Fall had an absolute ton of success. So when it came time for jumping ship from that through to Act of Defiance, obviously you're starting a new project, you're going to go back to playing slightly smaller venues again. Mm -hmm. Was that frustrating for you or did you really enjoy it again? No, it's 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 fine. You know, I've done it before, we can do it again, you know. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know what it's like, get back in the van and go for it, you know. it's uh, The biggest change for me really between that band and this band is that in Shadow Swall I play guitar and this I play bass, so it's yeah. kind of a different animal and I didn't want to treat it like um, playing a four string guitar or whatever, you know, yeah. to really treat the bass the way it deserves to be played and not just like a secondary guitar. You know? mm. So that was a big, uh, you know, adjustment for me, but uh, it's been fun to do something a little bit different. Mm. Uh, and I was going to ask as well, in jumping from, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, in jumping from guitar duties through to bass, mm -hmm. it, do you bring a different ideology with you? Does it feel completely fresh and completely new or are there still similarities between the two? Well, there are definitely similarities between yeah. the two but it's when I was writing the parts for the record I tried to be really conscious of not just playing the guitar part on the bass I was playing more with Sean and the drum parts and everything is the way that you know it should be done to really fill in the space since we are only a one guitar band as well yeah. so you know on the album you could have double tracked rhythms and all these things and fill in the space but live we're not gonna get that yeah exactly. so I really needed to be clever about what I was writing to fill in the space underneath the solos and things like that yeah are you gonna be using backing tracks or anything like that when you play live no we don't really do anything like that. We have some tracks, but they're simply for intros and little like pieces in between songs and nothing like that. We just go out there, the four of us, and just do it. Mm, yeah. And are you enjoying Act of Defiance? Yes, are we're you, having a you... ton of fun. We're, yeah. we're, we're just out here in, in enjoying the muddy weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> enjoying the mud. Enjoying, enjoying the mud, yes. Enjoying the blood, sweat, and tears. Indeed. And obviously, it's been uh, just under a year now since uh, Old Scars New Wounds mm -hmm. came out. So I need to ask, is there any, um, any progress with a third album, new songs in the uh, in the process uh, not yet not yet we're still really focused on promoting this record and getting out there yeah. we haven't done a whole lot of touring yet on this you know as much as we can and we're gonna keep going with a little bit for that maybe next year we'll start thinking about writing some stuff yeah I personally have a hard time writing while on the road because there's just really nowhere to focus you yeah, know there's yeah, so yeah. much going on there's you know, there's press and there's uh, other things going on just loading in and sound checks and things there's really no time so I usually wait till I can get home and sit down and focus when I'm writing so um, not yet but mm. soon and obviously this is your second album you've released both albums with um, Metal Blade Records yep 
So I wanted to ask, how did Act of Defiance get the attention of Metal Blade? How did that relationship start? Well, they've always been uh, friends of ours over there at the label for years. Mm. Um, and that whole deal was actually done before I even stepped into the picture. Right. Um, so I don't know exactly how that whole thing went down, but I mean, it's, we've all known uh, Brian Slagle and all his guys for years and years and years. Um, so it was pretty natural for us to go to like, you know, we're a proper metal band, want to go to a proper metal label. That's where you go. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Now they especially like, a lot of the other labels are now getting sold off to majors and all these things, and everyone's uh, consolidating their resources. Whereas Metal Blade is still independent and still going, you know, full steam ahead. So it feels really, really good to do that. And with Active Defiance still very much in touring mode, like you're saying. I need to ask maybe before you even um, sort of get into a third album, are there any tours you really want to do? Any bands you really want to support, or any bands you really oh, want supporting God. you? Uh, we're we're looking to support other bands. We're not right. looking to go out and headline right now. It's still very very new band, and it really doesn't matter what bands we used to be in or whatever. It's mm. it's still a new project. So yes. we, and we know that. So we need to get in front of some other people. But I mean we. We're open to anything, you know, of course, it's always great to go out with friends, you know, we've done some uh, some tours in the past with some good friends like Hatebreed and uh, Hell Yeah and Kill Switch Engage and things like that, and, you know, so that's always a good time to, to go out with people that you know really well, but it's also nice to go out with some new people, make some new friends and have some great times, so we're looking forward to anything that comes our way. Absolutely. That's a great note to end on. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, man. Thank you. Everyone Appreciate go and buy Old Scar's New Wounds, it will melt your face off. Until then, Matt Bichon. Thank you, man. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.